I'm reviewing the Vinkley pool vacuum cleaner that we've recently purchased. First thing is to take all the parts in the box and start the assembly of the vacuum unit itself. This pool cleaner is designated to work in a wide variety of swimming pools, both for standard and skimmer installation and optional vacuum line installations. Check to see which most closely fits your pool configuration. All the hoses and all the fittings are included. The vacuum itself comes unassembled, which is very easy to do. After getting familiar with all the parts and quickly reading the instructions, first install the round mat to the bottom of the vacuum. Make sure it's in the groove. And make sure the small fins around the mat are facing up towards the vacuum. By the way, it comes with the diaphragm already installed and they also gave you a spare, which is a very expensive piece to buy. Number two, install the ring bumper by clipping it all the way. And that's it, not much to assemble on the uh, vacuum itself. Before installation, make sure to turn the pool pump off. It's time now to assemble my compression adapter to fit my skimmer. And it looks like I'm going to be using all the uh, parts that they sent me, including both elbows. Press the elbow connector into the compression adapter. You could add two elbow connectors if necessary, or one elbow connector, according to your skimmer condition. Then press the other end of the regulator valve into the other elbow. Make sure that the arrow under the regulator valve is pointing towards the skimmer. Very important. I'm going to take off the compression adapter and install it in the skimmer first. Press the compression adapter into the vacuum connection and reconnect the valve with the arrow pointing to it. Continue to feed the hose vertically down into the pool until it is completely filled with water and purged of air. If air gets into the pool plumbing, it may cause your pump to lose prime. Insert the end of the hose through the skimmer opening and connect the um, hose directly onto the regulator valve. Continue to feed the hose by installing each section. After you connect the last hose to the cleaner, place the cleaner into the pool. Turn it side to side and front to back to release any trapped air, allowing the cleaner to sink to the floor of the pool. Turn the pump back on and make sure you don't need any of these weights connected to your hose in case the uh, vacuum leans too much forward or too much back. Mine doesn't need any. It seems like it doesn't need any, but I'll keep an eye out. And keep an eye on how far it goes up towards the uh, lower part of the pool where the steps are. You want to make sure you have not too much hose, but enough so that it will reach that area and vacuum all the way around. It is uh, suggested that the length of the hose from the skimmer to the opposite corner of the pool sticks out at least one section. That gives it plenty to reach the end of the pool. And that's about it. You have now completed the installation. It works very well. Very satisfied with it so far. Picks up plenty of leaves, that's for sure, especially during the fall. Love the way it grips onto the walls and the slightest bump like our pool light, it makes it just flow down to the bottom. Hope this helps someone out there make a decision on what type they want to purchase. If you need additional information, there's a link in the description of this video. You all have a great day.